Okay, so buckling the sides and the edges of each part. This is silicon metal. It's bearing nickel metal beam alongside the edge. And I have it in temporary setting. So for the holes before riveting, she's getting deformation and shaping according to the segment. The winding coils will be localized here. I will also wrap the winding coil around the edges. Move them up in a linear motion and stop them there. Move it up in a linear motion and stop them there. I will not cross the lines here. I will wind it here. And I will wind it here and here. And between the teeth, the horns, I will wind it between the horns and wind it between the horns. I have applied one here, I picked one for, for the gold bearing bracket. It has a few layers on it. I want to keep it thin and not heavy at all. So, therefore, the permanent magnets are lined all within the system, all around the unit, around the edges. So that's the hollow, I'm going to add the rotary for it. And the propeller, which should be synchronous induction, an induction propeller. propeller. It should rotate around, and it should be bearing a coil, propellers, and should synchronize the coils along the side. So once it does that, it causes magnetism. The, um, causes the current to transform like a transfer, like a voltage transformer. And <clears throat> that will send the linear motion within the permanent magnets to move with, by the uh, move the permanent magnets from the housing area, which will cause it to move against away from uh, its gravitational mass, the neutral mass. As long as the winding is like a slow mode going upward, 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 upward. So binding these two together with the coil, and these two together with the coil, so that the linear motion will be this way. So while it forces, it will vibrate or even move to the electrical energy dust. So every area of a straight area will be localized on the coil will be bearing on there. And that will cause it to move up a bit. Now to float from this way, forward or back, is to use the winding coil to move forward or back. Being diamagnetic, of course, because the diamagnetic will cause it, you know, the magnets to move this way or this way, depending on the winding energy. So winding energy moves this way and this way will cause the magnets to move up, up away from the magnet field. So that's how that works for this part. Then after that's done, before that's done, I must overlay this this part with um the piezo budget, I mean quartz crystal. So I have to quartz crystal and to stretch it alongside the exterior. And that's gonna be a little bit hard to get electric in. So that's the way it And a uh, rubber handle to the device that I'm using the screen. Device. So once I apply it to here and brush it on with the solvent, I can use the paintbrush to brush it on small and paintbrush it. Brush the quartz crystal and then let it cure. Once it cures, then I can add the bus as far as a rod into it, a metallic rod, and bust that metallic rod to a place where I'm going to be placing an uh, encoder as far as a connection to a pin input, a pin output, an uh, input connection, basic for audio rod, to drive the plasma to strike against the surfaces. How a piezo, a piezo, or piezo buzzer works is it's coated with quartz crystal, and inside of the quartz crystal, there is an iron conductor electrode, and that receives a charge and exerts the spark gas to jump against the surfaces of the other conductor, and that forces the plasma to exert and vibrate, vibrate the metal because of the tensile areas, the thinness of it, causes the vibrate to rapidly deform it. The acoustics, that's how the piezo doesn't work. So I'm going to be doing it similar like that. And that's going to assist me with different modules, so that's going to be a form for different modules. Connections to different kinds of electric, uh, electronic circuits. For tactile sensory, for cleaning sensory, and many other things. So that's on in addition to the modulated uh, circuit. I do have a flexible PCB kit, and that will be that show the either before or after Sean. I'm going through a little struggle with trying to figure out if I'm going to put the PCB on the inside. So I'll probably put it on the inside and just leave this on for a piece of electrocution. And therefore, I can follow up on the rubber and the, uh, as far as uh, PVC jelly, rubber, very soft suction cups to couple to the unit. So the shape of the suction cup will be according to the metric range. So, um, my name is Jermaine Morton. Goodbye.